I am Steve from Delco Steaks. We're located in Broomball right now. Opening up in uh, other locations soon, but we got the best meat around. Uh, been open for 11 months, coming up on our one year anniversary. And we sell two foot cheesesteak, regular cheesesteaks, burgers, hot dogs, whatever you want, grub on, you come here. And as they say, you can't beat our meat. Delco Steaks, Broomall, PA. I'm glad I watched this video. I didn't know it's only been a year since Delco Steaks has been open. And um, I'm very impressed with this place, how they run this place, the ownership. And I'm surprised Steve didn't get into it, how they source their meat. They searched for the right kind of beef they wanted. They got a Black Angus. They have a provider of their beef in Lancaster. And they really took a lot of thought and consideration in putting all their ingredients together. And um, it shows. Great cheesesteak. Great group of young people. Well, I'm 58, so anybody, you know. And under 50s, young, but they are a good group of young people. Orange cheese steak madness, beautiful day on Route 3. Ruma, don't go steak. You can see better from this side. No, the meat is what good, yeah. Yeah, that's way better cheese than way better cooper than way better the other. Than you the know, other guy. because it was mentioned in the other place, Cooper American. Is there a difference between that and Cooper Sharp? I don't know. Well, that's kind of your role here, Mark. You're supposed to be the food guy. I know. Cooper Sharp? Yeah. Not Cooper American. Yeah. No, Cooper Sharp. Different. Cooper Sharp. Start talking when I don't have a video. Yeah. Yeah, so the bread is great. The roll's got the seeds all around. You can tell they toasted it, so. The sesame really comes out. Yeah. It's a little sloppy in the middle, but I always get the middle piece. But good onions and good cheese. Yeah, good. Nice big pieces of onion. Look at those down there. And um, I agree with Diane. Good cheese. Cheese, the Cooper is real Cooper. Good. Nice meat. Mm -hmm. And uh, of good course, meat. I always like the seeded roll. It is. It's, it's sloppy, but the bread holds it together. It's you know, and and you want a little slop in your cheesesteak. I think I think that's that's good. No, Nothing wrong with some slop. Hi everybody. My name's Frank, and I'd like to welcome you to Fabio's Market and Tap, one of Delco's more unique culinary destinations. On the one roof here, we have a terrific restaurant. Italian market, to-go area, we also have an in-house bakery, a really popular bar, a banquet room, we have outdoor dining as well, so a lot of cool things happening on the one roof, and we welcome you here anytime. De Fabio's Market and Tap Media PA. This has been a sleeper, a sleeper, I tell you. My very first stop there, I very much enjoyed this stop. Place is driven by a million times, and uh, and I never thought to stop in for the cheese steak. And boy, was I mistaken for all these years. It's one of our longer videos. It was the end of a long day of judging. You can see a few cocktails on the table. Judges <laughs> enjoyed their judging. So I'm going to get right to the judges. Here we are at the Fabio's. Day of cheese steaks, last stop in Delco. The Fabio's. Fabio's Market and the bar and cafe and pizzeria and bakery and truly seltzers. Market and tap. Dan's on Migo Dan's on the phone, but there's two judges. I see two judges. Hi judges. Hello. I, I have a huge piece of uh, Cooper Sharp huge on the huge? top. Yeah, huge. <laughs> I can see the mushrooms and onions. I just went right in. He drove in. Mine's very cheesy. Heavy on the top cheese. I don't see cheese on the bottom. Ooh, that's a hot one. Look at that. Steamy. That is steamy. My roll might break on the bottom though. You can see the mushrooms. You can see the cheese. It's definitely not dry, that's for sure. Let's, let's see a roll holding up again. That's good seasoning. seasoning. Good flavor to it. Mm -hmm. What is that? The seasoning. Yeah. Seasoning really seasoning well. Seasoning very well. Salt, pepper. And the, the mushrooms. mushrooms. And the mushrooms. Something's on the mushrooms too. Uh -huh. Texture of the meat, I'm, I'm not sure on right now. It feels like it's shaved so thin. When you eat it, 
It almost feels like like brisket, like pork. Like. <laughs> yeah, good it point. There's not almost not enough bite. It's almost too soft. Except that there's a lot. But there's a here. Ton of meat there's a there's a good amount of meat. And you can like tell cheese. it all spent time on the grill together. You know, like on a family vacation. Hmm, a family vacation. It's like a chef's made cheesesteak, but it tastes like a regular cheesesteak. It's not yeah. it's not fancy, it's not pretentious. It's no. the only thing that I would do is and I and I love Cooper Sharp. And um I, and I like this one. I, I would get that cheese more blended in. Folded in more? Yeah. So it's like on top. Yeah. Cheese in it. There's cheese in it, and then there's cheese on top of it, too. I think you're so right. So I think they put extra cheese on top. I, I think you're definitely right. And I'm okay with that, because I'm not going to kick extra cheese out of my mouth, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have to Fabio's up against Delco. This is a literally tie for me. They both had the same score. Um, on, on my scorecard, um, Delco, I mean, Delco steaks, they're great, they're amazing, they get their own meat, um, their black Angus ribeye sent to them, Cooper Sharp cheese, good cheese to meat ratio, well seasoned mushrooms and onions, and then we have Fabio's, which I was surprised by, that was like the sleeper of the competition for me. Um, Lissio's roll, they used ribeye that they slice in house, it was seasoned well. Um, the mushrooms and onions were fresh, and um, they had the Cooper Sharp cheese, which was blended in, um, and then they put a little Cooper Sharp on top. Um, so, really close one for me, but I am going to go with DeFabio's as the winner of this bracket. I'm um, really sorry, John and Nick, I mean, at Delco's, like, they know what they're doing with cheesesteaks, but I do have to say that I think DeFabio's came on top for me. All right. Um, yeah, DeFabio's Delco's. So, uh, DeFabio's, uh, again, that really nice, like, uh, homogenous eating, I, from start to finish. It's, Every bite's got the, the nice shape, thinly, thinly shaped meat, the cheese mixed throughout, so it's creamy, good texture, um, and just a, a, a similar experience. It's got consistency start to finish. Delco steaks, um, you know, I, I'd say almost the same thing for them. I think that the, the cheese doesn't mix in the same. I think, if I remember correctly, uh, a little bit thicker on the, on the ribeye slice. And so, uh, personal preference, is for me the thinner, the thinner shaped steak. Uh, Delco's again had a, the sesame roll, so De Fabio's was not sesame. Between the two, I'm gonna go with De Fabio's, and it's not an easy choice because Delco's is a great sandwich. They make a uh, great cheesesteak there. But I, you know, the simplicity of De Fabio's and, and the execution really nailed it, and so they're they're getting my vote. Frank's coming out on top on that one though for me. You know what? And uh, this is what it's all about. As you get down in the brackets, it just gets tougher and tougher. These are two highly rated, in my book, cheesesteaks. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say about it. It comes down to the numbers again. I don't think either one played harder than the other one. Uh, I like their substitutions coming off the bench. Um, but overall, you know, just all the way around, eking out, I gotta give it to the Fabios. Yeah. Wow. Are you surprised? Well, usually you like to disagree with me, but <laughs> yeah. That said, I, I'd recommend anyone to go to Delco Steaks and try it. They're two very different cheesesteaks, and and so again, personal yeah. preference. Go try them both. Figure out which. Definitely one you like. honorable mention for Delco. I mean, they both came to play. <laughs>